Hey, Fred Fackelma here with Zonar, VP of Compliance. If you're using an AOBRD today to manage your hours of service, you have to switch by December 16th of this year to ELD. Now remember, there's certain requirements you have to meet. Your ELD has to be able to capture that data from the vehicle. You have to be connected. You have to capture movement and location. And you also have to be able to take that data and transfer it at roadside to enforcement. Zonar meets all those requirements. In fact, we're self-certified and we even went beyond that. We're third party certified by an independent party. We meet those requirements. And to show you how we do that, we're gonna walk you through it today. Hey, thanks Fred. So what we have is a Zonar ELD installed in the truck and connected to the ECM. So the first thing you're gonna to do to start your workday is log in. That ensures you are who you say you are. Each driver has his own pin. So what this does is brings you to the main screen which shows the, the ELD application. Now on that application, it's a quick glance as to your duty status, your current rule set, and the clock in this case showing how long I've been off duty. Now this, what we call the smart clock, serves a couple of different purposes where it'll show you how long you've been off duty or let's say um, I've been on duty for six or seven hours it's gonna tell me, well, in about two hours, you need to take your rest break, or I've been pushing my, um, my drive hours. It's gonna indicate which clock I'm at, the, at most risk of going into violation. So opening up the application, it brings us to our log page, showing our drive hours, our daily clock hours, our weekly hours, and also the off-duty clock, which also serves as the rest break clock. When you are on duty, it's gonna tell you when you need to take a break. Below that, we've got the grid or the graph showing our logs. And below that, our event list, which contains all the, the data that is required by the ELD mandate. So we're all compliant here. And on this page, we can also go in to change our duty status, by going into the menu and here we have the menu for uh, we can change our duty status change our rule set uh, apply driving exemptions such as adverse conditions so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change my duty status to on duty and in this page here we can change our duty status to on duty off duty sleeper berth drive or add annotations to a, a log we can also apply um, uh, personal conveyance and yard moves. By going into the off-duty, we can go into personal conveyance. Or the on-duty, we can uh, uh, select uh, yard moves. So I'm gonna put myself on duty. Apply and save. So now our rest break clock has, has come up rather than the off-duty clock. So all these events are captured by the ELD, as well as all the engine data, since you're always directly connected to the engine. So now in the case of your, if you're pulled over into a scale for a roadside inspection, this is where roadside view comes into play. Know that with Zonar ELD, you, the driver, are always in control. So to get in the roadside view, you simply select the, the menu and select roadside view. So what this does is it locks up the ELD to, uh, to the officer. All he's going to see is your logs and nothing else. Uh, this ensures your privacy. If you have messages on your ELD, uh, he's not going to see those. And also, um, he's not going to see any violations that may have occurred. This is a black and white rendition of your logs and um, he's gonna still gonna have to go through and figure out all the hours, but nothing's gonna be flagged or highlighted if, if you had a, had a violation in your last uh, eight days. So here we have your eight days of logs. You can swipe back and forth here and there, showing your, how many hours you have in the week, 
the ELD ID number. And also you can get your uh, vehicle information and your license information here in the pull down where we have the unit number, your VIN, your information, your driver's license number, your driver ID, which is all required by the ELD mandate, how many miles you've driven in the day. If you have a co-driver, this information goes here. If you have load information, your trailer and uh, shipping information goes here. If you have any dollies, if you're driving, if you're hauling doubles or triples. Also, your carrier information. Now, you might be asked by law enforcement to export your logs. That can be done very easily while you're in roadside view. To do that, you dock the tablet. And the very top right hand corner, there's a button that says export. You tap that and it brings up a window that you can enter in a comment and hit export. And what that does is send your eight days of logs and all the truck data directly to FMCSA. Now next to that button is a question mark. And what that is, is basically your cab card. Uh, you're required to carry a cab card with instructions on how to operate your ELD. And Zonar has contained that electronically in the ELD. So you tap the little question mark there and it brings up a menu of uh, a user's manual as well as uh, how to operate other things in the ELD. So to exit out of, the, out of roadside view, uh, you're required to enter your PIN. Also docking the tablet and going into motion will also allow you to, to exit. So that brings you back to your main log page. And one of the beauties of the Zonar ELD, giving the driver control, is that it allows the driver to edit the logs. So let's say I have an on-duty status here that this should have been off-duty. I can easily edit that by tapping the pencil, changing to off-duty, and leaving an annotation. Done and save. This gives the driver the ability to change any uh, things he'd done in error, and that will that'll keep you out of violation. If you made a mistake, you can fix it. Now these edits, along with all the activity captured by the ELD, goes directly to the dispatch side in ground traffic control. That's the program that the carriers use to track compliance health of the fleet. And with that, Todd's going to demonstrate ground traffic control. Todd? I'm here in ground traffic control to go ahead and show you what any dispatcher or really any other back office personnel would see when reviewing the hours of service data. This report is in real time and should be reflecting the most current events that your drivers have done out there on their tablets. Let's go ahead and take a look. So on the left side of the screen here, we do have our driver list. We're going to go ahead and select Roy McDowell so we can go and review his logs. So once you've selected the driver, you'll notice that we have some pretty basic data elements displayed. We actually have them broken down into three elements, driver details, vehicle setup, and carrier details. The driver details show things such as driver ID, as well as the current rule set. With the vehicle setup showing things such as power unit number, VIN number, and other identifying things for that asset. The carrier details go ahead and show some pretty basic elements for the carrier, such as DOT number, principal place of business, and things that are needed to maintain compliance. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the actual logs themselves. So we do expose some really basic elements in some pretty easy to find and use ways, such as the driver's clocks, the time they have remaining available for each one of their clocks, that will be showing the same values that they're showing down there on the tablet. So below the clocks, we do have the same traditional 24-hour grid that shows the same four main duty statuses, on-duty, drive, sleep or berth, and off. It tracks forward the same way that any other electronic log would and is very similar to what you would expect from a paper log format. Going directly below there, you can actually go ahead and start to see some of the elements of the logs themselves. We can see the, the drive event that Roy went ahead and pushed through. We can also see that we're pending driver certification for this particular day. Now we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit further and actually show the edited log that he changed on his tablet himself. So now that we found that log, we can see that Roy actually edited it from on duty to off duty. We do have a nice little audit trail here that shows exactly what edits have occurred to that log. And that's really it.
Reading through your driver's hours of service logs are pretty quick and simple. Um, the last thing that we'll go ahead and show you is what you need to do in the event that you do need to export any of this data, whether it's for your own record keeping or even to send to the FMCSA when needed. Up at the top of the page, if you select the export icon, you'll notice you have two options. You either have FMCSA output or PDF export. Selecting the FMCSA output goes ahead and generates the appropriate flat file or data transfer file for the driver for the given time period. And you can also select the method for which it's, it's transferred, whether it's email or web services. Selecting the PDF version will allow you to generate a local PDF copy of the driver's logs for you to use in your own record keeping purposes. Fred? Thanks, Todd. As you can see, we meet all the requirements, whether it's on the display or in the back office, Zonar has you covered. We've been at this a long time. We have the experience and knowledge. We have your back. Sonar is here to be your partner. We look forward to working with you.